Yeah. One second, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> all right. This is a uh, Super Steve again doing reaction to season six, episode thirteen, uh, "Stranger Than Fan Fiction." All I read on the description was um, that uh, Rainbow Dash was going to a daring do um, thing. I forgot where it was. Anyway, that's all I know. So hopefully this will be interesting. Rainbow Dash and daring do. That's that's new. Not. But, uh, see what happens. See how this is. Okay. I'll get this started and sync it and so on and stuff, so. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> oh, you crazy sound. There. Now. I can't tell if it's together or not. feel bad. Oh, man. <laughs> um, Pilly WDD. I would expect out of Rainbow Dash, though, honestly. It's yeah. the way things go. Well, let's see how this episode goes. Hopefully it's pretty cool. Alright. Inventucation? Did that already? Yeah. <laughs> this is the awesomest thing ever. Okay. Now this is something that only a true fan can appreciate. They even put the tiles in the right order. <laughs> Good catch. Oh, I'm Quibble Pants. Nice to meet you. Rainbow Dash. Okay. Nice costume. You too. Thanks. The hard part was figuring out the right number of arrow holes. <laughs> because on page 84 of Sapphire Stone, it describes her dodging a, quote, score of arrows shooting forth from holes in the very walls, unquote. But then on page 107, Darren Dew says she, quote, barely made it past the trap's barrage of arrows, unquote. But clearly, Darren Dew is embellishing, and the correct number of arrows is 20. Okay. <laughs> It shows up close, but not far away. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, some random guy. Um, someone who Rainbow Dash might like. Okay. Well, well, 
Whoa. There are no other books. Uh, of course uh -huh. there are. Daring doing the trick of the terrified front towers. Daring doing the many fake. Uh, please, please don't. Just don't even mention the titles. Uh. I'm not saying those books don't exist. I'm saying that I refuse to acknowledge them. Why? Because they're horrible. I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible. What? I know for a fact that everything in every one of those books is 100% possible. Uh, and how could you possibly know that? Uh, she's I in one of them? <laughs> well, that's a compelling argument. Why would you even come to this convention if you hate Daring Do so much? I don't hate Daring Do. The first series was smart and cool and an amazing nod to old time serialized adventure books that somehow manages to be self reflexive and ironic while at the same time celebrating the art form without a hint of cynicism. Which is why I came here to ask A. Kate Yearling, muzzle to muzzle, why she sold out and dumbed down the rest of her books and ended just a series of impossible action sequences. Okay, now I know you're crazy. A. Kate Yearling is awesome, and every daring do book that comes out is better than the last. Wow. Okay, yeah. I I'm, I'm sorry, but I could never be friends with some pony who's willing to believe impossible stuff is possible as long as daring do does it. That's okay, because I could never be friends with some pony who's so focused on things being possible that he's willing to turn his back on the coolest hero of all time! Fine! Fine! Okay. Look, meh, just meh. tell A.K. Yearling meh. that Rainbow Dash is here, and I need her help to convince a know-it-all pony that everything Daring Do's ever done actually happened. Uh, d d d d d d d yeah. Hey, I've got to talk to you. It's an emergency. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me, what's going on? Is it Cavalier on? Did you see <laughs> No, but there is a pony downstairs who thinks everything you've written after the first trilogy is totally unrealistic and terrible. And I need you to help me prove to him that it's all totally possible. I've got bigger problems on my hoofs than dissatisfied fan ponies. Yeah. Whoa, the amulet of Kulikon. Cavaleron wants it, but the amulet's only a key. <laughs> the real treasure is hidden in a lost temple, the seven-sided chest of Chico Mostock. Cavaleron wants to sell it to the highest bidder, of course, which is why I need to find it first. Yes! Sounds like another awesome daring do adventure! But what are you doing here? Since I haven't found the temple yet, it's the safest place for me in the amulet. It's crawling with security, and if I get into trouble... I can just blend in with all the Daring Do cosplayers. How can I help? <laughs> just keep your eyes out for anything suspicious. God. Oh, that's hilarious and true, too. Does huh? a pony who only likes your first trilogy qualify as suspicious? You, you, can't, that, <laughs> you can't really prove it, otherwise... I find all this fanfare around my arch enemy disturbing. <laughs> Wouldn't he be confused? Let us find Daring Do on the amulet of Pulakon. I don't want to spend any more time in this place than I have to. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh, up uh, there. Uh. Well, if it isn't the pony who knows impossible things can happen, uh. because. She just does. Whatever. Uh, Ignore the dude. Sorry, Move on. No. I've got more important things to do than argue with a pony who thinks awesome means unrealistic. No, wait. I want to hear more about how you're 100% sure that in Curse of the Jungle Queen, Darren, oh, you can survive the mm -hmm. story drop from the top of a waterfall after sustaining a broken wing in a Category 6 rapid. Ugh. Obviously, her wing wasn't broken. Cavaleron. See, now that's a great character. Solid backstory, good motivations. No, 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 no. Cavalaron is right there. Of course he is. He's also over there, over there, oh, oh, over there, and over there. Where are you going? And we're out here because... Daring Do told me that Cavalaron came to this convention to steal the amulet of Kulakon, and I just saw him and his head ponies come this way! Okay, I'm gonna head back inside. 
it's just a little too much crazy out here for the both of us. Oh boy. Where are you going, Ben? And then you swerve, and I was, I was, I was on the water, and then, 
Okay, you don't have the key though. Well, it's kind of, kind of pointless. Make sure they are secure this time. We can't have them escaping again. Wait. You'll never what? get away with this! Won't I? You've led me to the temple, and daring you is too noble to let harm befall their companions, so the amulet is as good as mine. Do I need a key? What? No witty remarks this time about how silly my plan is. This isn't the official Daring Do Experience Adventucation, is it? Finally! It's some cheap knockoff run by a bunch of incompetent ponies that have no idea how to execute this adventure with any level of safety. Uh. Ugh. What was that with the bridge? We were in serious danger. I I'm reporting you all to... Well, I don't know who I'm reporting you to, but it's going to be some pony important. Oh, and this cut-rate excuse for an experience hasn't proved anything except that I'm right. It has all the hallmarks of a lame, daring-do adventure. Uh, Quibble? No, I'm talking. Generic jungle locations? Check. Overly complicated villain plot? Check. Random coincidences that conveniently get us to the next big set piece? Check. What for you are stepping, you poor? Oh, man. I told you to warn me if anything suspicious. Not run off on an adventure without me. Whoa, whoa, whoa you, you're real. You're, you're, you're friends with her? <laughs> uh, we'll have to do that was a smile. Later. Right now we have to... You get out of here, yes. Thank you. Actually, no. What? We can't leave without the treasure. And we should probably get to it before our friend gets any higher. Insane! You said go over him! I said go around him! And I said be quiet! 
it. This way. I heard. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I got it. Let's create a fake treasure out of mud and rocks. Give that to Capilaron, and then we'll. Not every daring do plan has to be super complicated. Ah, I swear I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's cheesy, but it works. <laughs> eh, not particularly original or inspired, but it worked. Who are you again? Ethan. <laughs> uh huh. There's some stairs on the other side of the temple that lead out of the ravine. I suggest you two take them and head west. What about you? I've got to get this to a museum. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Both of you. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> so? So, maybe the later books are slightly more realistic than I gave them credit for. Yeah. I don't like them. What? How can you... Wait, hold on. Before we get in another fight, I, I think I finally figured it out. I love the daring dude that solves puzzles and uses her brain to get out of tough situations. And she did way more of that in the original trilogy. You love the daring dude that is brave and awesome and comes out on top no matter what the odds. Okay. And that's okay. We might never agree on what makes Daring do cool, but you are definitely cool. I mean, the way you saved me on the bridge? Like, wow. And escaping from the temple, you, Rainbow Dash, are awesome. Well, I'm not the one who can locate a treasure in half the time Daring do can. You may have terrible taste in books, but you're pretty awesome yourself. In a brainy, egghead, puzzle-solving kind of way. <laughs> I guess we don't have to agree on everything to get along. Friends? Definitely friends. Hmm. Okay, well... A.K. Deerling would consider letting me write the next book. I Dude, that's like falls for a moment there. <laughs> I mean, for instance, in the second adventure, there's a side character. I don't want to... Oh, kind of boy, seriously. Right <laughs> Talk to my friends. This thing that I've already written a lot of fan fiction. <laughs> so you know, not that I'm saying that you would steal it, but I am saying that this would... Totally go along my whole thing about puzzle solving. Oh my god, seriously. Each puzzle that was solved uh, unlocked a new karate move. <laughs> think of it that way, right? I mean, I'm kind of a year like myself, so seriously? I'm sure open to. Uh, quibble? Sorry. LHX. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was pretty good again. Man, <clears throat> guy out of nowhere. Yeah. I thought it might be someone for Rainbow Dash. Mm. Oh well. Then again, this show was made for little, little girls, so they probably wouldn't make couples too much out of the main six, mm. except for Twilight and what's his dude name? I forget now. Anyway, um, Flash Century. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Good episode. <laughs> Strange guy. <laughs> I don't believe this is real. <laughs> eh, what a dude. I don't even know his name. Does he have a name? Did they mention it? I don't know. Guy from the convention. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> and he, that was kind of funny how he talked through the, through the credits it was like okay <laughs> random alright well I don't know what else to say so <clears throat> I guess I'll see you guys next time next episode and something like that okay oh my goodness this is playing the next episode isn't it I, I didn't even notice go away you thing Huh. Or played something. I didn't notice it was doing something. <laughs> oh well. Mm. That'd be a little bit of a strangeness right there. Whatever. I didn't see any spoilers on that one, so whatever. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Or see you guys later or something. Whatever. Bye bye.